So my favorite movie would definitely have to be Amelie. It's French and it is pretty much amazing. It has amazing cinematography and the color scheme in it is really, really stellar. And the music is by Jan Tiersen, who is like the spiffiest composer of all time. And the plot is great and the colors are great and it's just a really, really uplifting and gnarly movie. So. My favorite movie of all time is definitely Casablanca. And I have to say that one of the reasons for it is that the story is really awesome. The characters are great. I mean, Rick sitting there you know, smoking in the bar, looking all surly. It's great. But another reason is probably because it's one of those movies that everybody, you know, says, oh, you know, it's one of the best movies ever made and all that. So you kind of always look good when you say that's your favorite movie. Today we're going to talk about time travel. Right here is the key to time travel. Hold on one second. <laughs> I want to time travel with you. Okay. Whoa! What? Where what am just I? What just happened? Something I like to do that's probably out of the ordinary is I like to scuba dive because I like being underwater and watching the fish. The type of house that I would love to own is like an Italian house, the white thing with the brown outlines, the plants growing all over it, all that jazz. I look in the friend is honesty, but not too much honesty. My friend Eric here tried to be honest with me, and I didn't appreciate it at all. I told him I thought his video was lame. Not needed. No. An example of heaven on earth for me would probably be the northern woods of Wisconsin when I can ski up there. It's just really beautiful and. This time, this beautiful place. <laughs> so an example of heaven on earth for me would definitely have to be either Bush Wildlife or Coil Ridge Park. Uh, my friend and I go there usually like once a week or once every other week, and it's just so amazing to go there. What I've always found to be amazing is God's creation and, and the things that God has made and just the beauty of it today. This week, for example, there are two particular things that I just saw that just amazed me. First off, unfortunately, I work at Starbucks and have to go there at 5 in the morning. While doing this, though, I do get to see the sunrise. And every time I see the sunrise, it really does make my heart just, like, whatever, you know. The second thing is this leaf. Look at this leaf. When I hold it this way, you can't really see it. When I hold it this way, you can kind of see it. How awesome! An example of heaven on earth is Willy Wonka's Chocolate Factory. Why? Because you can get all the chocolate you want. Anything else? No. <laughs> okay. One thing that was cool at school was that sometimes guys would just come into like my dorm room and they'd just be like, you want to pray? And uh, so we'd just start praying. And just in some ways it made it more real because you're sharing, you know, and that was one thing that was really great about living with so many Christian guys at school was being able to really share our faith with each other. You know, we think about sharing our faith as something that you do with somebody who who doesn't know anything about Christianity or doesn't have a relationship with Jesus, you know, but, like, even from Christian to Christian, um, you know, sometimes Jesus just doesn't seem that real. And when you have somebody else who comes with you, together with you and they're worshiping or they're praying with you or they're sharing something from their life, yeah. they're, like, encouraged me a lot, like, a, a ton. Uh-uh-uh. <laughs>